Well, welcome back, everybody. We're 45 minutes past the hour on our Friday, and I told you all morning I would be bringing you great photos just like this one from Deborah Yates from the Northern Lights that we got to see last night. And this picture you get to see again just so many pinks and stars in the sky. It is just truly a wonderful sight to see. And again, I'm so glad that everybody got to see it and share your pictures with us. Deborah, thank you for your photo submission. I'm so glad I could share it with everybody else now and just let everybody see the beautiful skies that we got to see last night. That's continuing into right now as the sun is starting to rise. We're starting to get some pastel colors in the sky on our horizon, but our temperatures right now are in the lower 50s. So when you're heading out the door for school or work, you definitely might want a light jacket, but probably going to want to ditch it by this afternoon because this afternoon our temperatures are getting into the lower 80s and we've still got a lot of sunshine in store. So it's going to be a little warm, which is this is about the seasonal average for this time of the year. So I would say seasonal, but definitely might not need the jacket for this. So it's Friday. We've got Friday night football games tonight. So I'm bringing you our uh, forecast for the week, our kickoff forecast, which are sponsored by Hardee's. This is WTOK's tailgate of the week, Choctaw Central versus Newton County. That tailgate still a little bit warm as the sun is up. Temperature sitting right at 80 degrees, but once that sun sets by kickoff, we're already going to be in the upper 60s. And this is WTOK's game of the week, Kemper County and Oxyby County. That sun setting before kickoff, so temperatures already being in the upper 60s and then by halftime starting to sit in the mid 60s and then tomorrow is Saturday which brings us another week of SEC football and there are some games that would be really good to watch like Ole Miss versus LSU and South Carolina and Alabama and there are some games where if you're a state fan you might not want to turn on the TV I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna watch we'll see but if you go to the game you've got great weather in store a lot of sunshine and temperatures all across the board, pretty much in the lower 80s to upper 70s. So very enjoyable weather. And that's gonna be the case as we head into next week as a cold front moves through, bringing our temperatures below average for our area for this time of the year, but no rain in the forecast for this next week, which is not a good sign when we take a look at our drought. The drought is starting to worsen in the Delta and no significant changes for Alabama, which is not a great sign, especially when no rain in the forecast. Now I'm bringing you a first alert update about Tropical Storm Leslie. Yesterday it was a Category 2 hurricane, now a Tropical Storm, but still pushing away from us, so no impacts for us, which is a good thing. But we're tracking out another area of development along the west coast of Africa, so that's going to develop between the next two to seven days, and it's got a 40% chance, but your first alert weather team is definitely going to continue to monitor it, and we'll keep you updated with the latest information available right here. Now we're taking a look at our next seven days across the board and you'll notice a lot of sunshine in store and then on Sunday a little bit of a temperature increase definitely could do without those upper 80s but and then on Tuesday that's where you'll see that cold front move through and bring our temperatures down and those overnight lows in the 40s.